Welcome to another day of smoking with Joe. Today we're going to make some beer can smoked chicken. So this is a great tasting recipe, but it doesn't actually turn out like most of the recipes online say that it's going to. Uh, we've got a little workaround we're going to try out on this one, so stick around to the very end, see how it all turns out. And plus we'll be giving away a discount coupon code for some great deals over at bradleysmoker.com. You don't want to miss out on that. Okay, so right off the top, I gotta go turn on the smoker. Okay, so I just wanna make sure that this is up and running so that when I bring the chicken out, it's ready to go in there and it's nice and hot. You'll see why in a minute. Simple temperature, and that's gonna to be to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Time is gonna be for four hours. I doubt if it'll be the full four hours, but we're gonna set it there. And the smoke time is gonna be for two hours. Okay, let's get that chicken ready. So beer can smoked chicken. Uh, right off the top, I'm gonna to put a little bit of rub on the uh, chicken. Uh, it's a real simple mix that I whipped together a couple of minutes ago. It's uh, one tablespoon of coarse salt, one tablespoon of coarse ground pepper, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, I've got a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of paprika. Just mix it all together. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a chili powder. It's quite nice. So just sprinkle it on quite liberally. Pat it down. Get a nice coverage on it. Cover it up really good. Probably use all of it, but uh, as you can see, most of it rolls off. Go into the armpits. All right, so we'll just let it sit here for now. Just gonna uh, move this off to the side. Well, now's the beer part. So this is my favorite part of the uh, process. Now, here's the problem. Uh, when you put beer into the stand and then you put the chicken on it, and you're gonna bake the chicken till the internal temperature is 175 or so, um, how is this ever going to boil on the inside to steam up the inside to keep the internal part nice and moist? Um, so what we're going to do about that is, uh, I know it's sacrilege for a lot of people, is uh, we're going we're gonna to boil the beer and get it ready before we put it in the smoker. We're going to be using this can in the stand uh, to hold the beer. So, next step is to boil it. Now, of course, I'm not going to boil it all. Some of this has got to be for me. This is actually a very nice beer. Keep it all on the tray here so it doesn't make a mess. Now we're just going to pop the chicken on the beer can. Okay, so I'm being careful not to push it all the way down to the bottom. I wanna make sure that there's enough of the beer can sticking out that it's gonna at least conduct some of the heat inside the uh, smoker. So if it's nice and hot, I wanna get this into the smoker right away. Some of the rub came off. Let's just pop that back on.
Okay, off to the smoker. So the uh, smoker is nicely up to temp. So let me pop this in there right away so that the uh, beer doesn't cool down. We're going to be smoking now for two hours with uh, mesquite biscuits. Uh, I'm waiting for the internal temperature to get up to 175, which I'll be checking with the uh, thermal pop thermometer. Uh, now also I wanted to get it into the smoker as quickly as possible so that the uh, beer in the beer can didn't cool off. You know, we're set to 240 right now. Theoretically that should actually keep it boiling or bring it up to boiling. You know, it's inside the uh, chicken so chances are it probably won't. Uh, we'll see what the temperature is in two hours. Uh, if it's not cooked, we're going to jack up the, the temperature. So we're up to almost 160 now, so this will be done fairly quickly. I'll just keep an eye on it for the next half hour or so. Smoking is almost done. Uh, it's working out quite perfectly. Now I boosted it to 260, uh, probably about an hour after I started the process. I could just tell I was cooking too slow, so 260 is where I finally set it and uh, it seems to be working out quite well. Well, it's been about another 40 minutes. So let's see how it turned out. One seventy-four. I'm going to call it done. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Well, there we go. Beer can, smoked chicken. Uh, one thing I noticed right away though was that uh, the uh, beer in the can here is exactly the same level as it was when it went in. There really no evaporation whatsoever. So I can only conclude that it doesn't really steam up and it doesn't really infuse into the chicken. Uh, otherwise there would be a lot less of it. So unless you put this onto some kind of an element, I just can't see how you're actually gonna get it to to boil and steam the inside so yeah uh, a bit of a, a myth there I think um, you know but uh, I don't think it's going to affect the taste of the uh, chicken at all so let's try it out well you definitely have a flavorful skin. It's kind of chewy. It always seems like the skin on chicken gets chewy when you uh, when you smoke it. Uh, it's even worse if you brine the chicken and then smoke it. But uh, it's almost kind of crunchy, but it's still kind of chewy. Uh, the chicken itself tasted quite nice. It's uh, it's a very light flavor. It's uh, got a little bit of a smoke hint through it, and certainly uh, where the uh, sauce touches the meat, it's, uh, it's a really nice flavor. Well, let's see how the, uh, the legs come apart on this. Well, that's definitely a sign that it's cooked all the way through. Well, I'm not gonna take a big bite out of it here, but it looks really juicy. I'm just gonna say that this is probably cooked perfectly. Uh, so as promised, here's the uh, discount coupon code for some great deals at bradleysmoker.com. Make sure you get over there and check them out. Wow, that's actually really quite lovely. So regardless of the beer can, the chicken turned out great. This is an interesting idea. I'm not sold. We'll see you next time.